and I'm going to flip you through it. And um, I'm just really excited to share all of this with you guys. There's a lot of really great information in here to kind of help you. As you can see, here's the table of contents. This is all of the yummy, delicious recipes that you're going to get in here. I really went uh, above and beyond with the dinners, the side dishes, and the appetizers in this book. I wanted to give you guys so many different things that would uh, make the entire family happy. So there's a lot of options in here that are paleo, Whole30. I even have a few vegan um, options in here as well. The appetizers I'm really excited about because I have never done a lot of appetizer recipes. Um, so I really just kind of did all of my favorites in here. And there's there's a lot of really, really good appetizer recipes, um, tons of side dishes that are super healthy, delicious salads that everyone's going to love. And then I'm really excited to share with you guys the breads because um, bread is always the number one request when I ask for recipes that you guys want. So you wanted a good sandwich bread. I did my popovers, which are fun. Um, we have dinner rolls, pie dough bagels, breadsticks, croutons, um, my family's favorite French bread, and then I did flour tortillas. I grew up eating tortillas, um, homemade tortillas, making them and eating them, and so this is um, my family's recipe turned gluten-free. Okay, we've got tons of delicious breakfast recipes, lots of fabulous desserts. These are like just Family, family favorites. So like peach cobbler is my favorite. We have carrot cake. Um, my cousin loves the German chocolate cake. So the yellow celebration cake really turned out to be one of my favorites too. Um, and then basic essentials. So everything that you're going to need, I share tips and tricks, the tools for success. Um, so there's lots of fun stuff in here for you guys. Um, ingredients to know before you start. So if you're new to the gluten-free journey, I'm sharing with you um, these essentials that you have to have in order to do gluten-free baking. Um, so it's, it's great for those who are new or that um, have been cooking gluten-free for a really long time. So this is the oven roasted pork loin. This is one of my favorite simple recipes um, that it's paleo whole 30 and it really impresses people if you have them over um, to eat. These are my egg free um, filler free meatballs that are paleo whole 30. We've got gluten-free dairy free lasagna right here. This is just um, so, so good. And it's just hearty, filling, and delicious. We have slow cook fall off the bone ribs, which I'm probably gonna be making these for you guys live soon. Uh, my husband loves those. This is the pesto pasta, which is vegan. Um, it's uh, really easy to make Whole30 Paleo by using zoodles or any type of um, dairy-free, or I'm sorry, a grain-free noodle that you want. And we have this really delicious lemon herb sa salmon that's also Whole30 Paleo. My juicy garlic burgers can be Whole30 Paleo with um, no bun. Just wrap it up in lettuce. This is my classic Sunday pot roast, which is um, very easy to make Whole30 Paleo with just one easy swap. We have a broccoli and cheese soup, even though there's no cheese in it. This has a vegan option. This is cold weather clam chowder. This is ginger chicken and broccoli. We have cashew fried rice. This is a sheet pan steak fajitas. I also love making this with shrimp too. We have some meaty chili, which is perfect for this weather. This is my rosemary roasted chicken. This is rainy day vegetable soup, which this um this is the most popular recipe on my blog, and so that's why I shared it in here. We have Grandma Olga's cabbage stew. We have orange chicken. We have shredded pineapple pork tacos. This is hearty homestyle chicken pot pie. We have a satisfying pork stew. Um, this is Italian eggplant parmesan, but it's actually um dairy-free and super easy to make um, paleo whole 30 if you want to. And then I have an easy cheesy baked ziti. 
steak with sauteed onions and mushrooms. This is one of our favorites. This, um, you're gonna get a steak rub that comes with this recipe that you're gonna use on all of your red meats and it's fabulous. We have the perfect pizza crust. This is turmeric sage fried chicken, um, hot braised prawns, macadamia coconut crusted mahi mahi, and then we're gonna get to the appetizers. These are the mouth-watering munchies. These are your diner style onion rings with a campfire sauce. These are so freaking good. I made this recipe so many times because I was trying to get it right and I ate so many onion rings. Another thing that I really love about this recipe is you can freeze these. And, and all you do is you just pop them in the oven and they taste like you just made them. And that's something that I really appreciate with recipes. These are bacon cheddar potato skins, gluten-free, dairy-free, cauliflower wings. Um, this is one of my go to. So with me doing the paleo whole 30 for the month of January, um, this recipe is really easy to do that with. And I'm going to be making these me and my husband and I just go crazy for these. Um, we've got bagel dogs. We have bacon wrapped Brussels sprouts. These are my uh, jalapeno popper stuffed mushrooms. And these have been approved by everybody. So I've made them dairy-free and I've made them with regular cream cheese and nobody could uh, really tell the difference with the dairy-free cream cheese. I took these to a holiday party. They were gobbled up. I served these on Christmas to my entire family and everyone loved them. Coconut prawns fried zucchini. We have curried hummus. This um, is the side dishes. So we have some garlic fries. These are my favorite scallop potatoes. I love scallop potatoes. These are vegan, um, corn-free, obviously gluten-free. These are my ranch potatoes. Oh, so good. Whole30, paleo, vegan, easy. So stinking easy. Garlic mashed potatoes, roasted root vegetables. Um, I love these. These are curried vegetables. And um, I used to go to a restaurant and order curried vegetables and I loved them. This is so easy. Vegan, paleo, and Whole30. We have rosemary sage mushrooms, vegan, paleo, Whole30. These are bacon green beans, which are also paleo, Whole30. Um, lemon pepper asparagus. We have Spanish cauliflower rice. These are marinated grilled veggies, stuffed acorn squash. We have brown sugar and bacon baked beans. This is a warm spinach salad. This is a grilled chicken harvest salad, which I absolutely love. It's really, really delicious. Some really good salads in here. This is a shrimp summer mango salad, super refreshing. Pear and prosciutto arugula salad. This is a homestyle potato salad that I'm obsessed with. We have orange maple carrots, and then we're gonna get to the bread. So we've got the sliceable sandwich bread, which this almost reminds me of a sourdough, but it's not, but it kind of just has that flavor to it. These are the popovers. Um, we have dinner rolls. The This is my um, pie dough, which I kind of like give you steps on how to roll it out. We have um, everything but the gluten bagels. We have buttery breadsticks. These are my homemade croutons. And then this is the bakery style French bread, which is phenomenal. These are the traditional flour tortillas. This is... Um, this recipe went from, it was like kind of my grandma's and then my Aunt Cheryl's and then my Aunt Cheryl gave me the recipe and then I tweaked it um, and this is how it turned out. And you can see they roll beautifully and they're delicious. Okay, breakfast. So we have crepes and these are so good. We have um, a fully loaded potato crusted quiche, which is Paleo Whole30 as well. Blueberry coffee cake muffins. This is apple cinnamon muffins. Chocolate cherry scones. Vanilla bean scones. These are cherry hand pies, which are kind of like a Pop-Tart, but we can't call them a Pop-Tart. 
These are pecan sticky buns. Oh, I feel like I need these in my life right now. I made these and I shared some with my best friend and she was like, oh my gosh, those are so legit. These are so good. Okay, and then we have the donuts. These are East Risen fried donuts that taste just like donuts used to taste when you were not gluten-free. This took me many years to perfect. This recipe is amazing. We have my, my uh, mom's biscuits and gravy. We have a breakfast enchilada casserole, which is so good. Um, chocolate waffles, lemon blueberry pancakes. We have a French toast casserole. This is one of my favorite breakfasts, eggs benedict. These are fried apple fritters, grain-free granola, uh, classic zucchini bread. We've got a banana bread. And then we're gonna go to the desserts. So we have a Southern style peach cobbler. We have fudgy pecan brownies, magic cookie bars. I grew up eating these, so I made this um, gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, you guys, vegan. Um, raspberry fruit bars. These are double chocolate chip cookies. Cinnamon raisin oatmeal cookies. This lemon cake is like phenomenal. This is so perfect to serve spring and summer. We have a yellow celebration cake, which is one of my favorites, and the German chocolate cake, which probably is my favorite cake. Um, we have fun Funfetti cake, which was so much fun for the kids or for like a baby shower or a birthday party. This is a red velvet cake with a cream cheese frosting. We have the carrot cake that my entire family is obsessed with. My aunt, in fact, requests this as her birthday present. She's not gluten-free or dairy-free. We have cherry pie tartlets, some little mason jar banana pudding pies, chocolate coconut cream pie, no bake vegan lemon cheesecake and no bake vegan chocolate cheesecake. And then you're gonna get my all purpose flour blend, um, my grain free powdered sugar, grain free baking powder, and the from scratch mayo. So if you're doing a corn free diet or if you're wanting to dabble with a little bit more paleo um, or grain free. So we've got tips and tricks, the tools for success, and then all of the other goodies. So thankful about the author and then we have the index so that is the book it is available on amazon it's available online um, on barnesandnoble.com the book is 25 that price is not going to change um, it's available for pre-order again if you pre-order snapshot your receipt and send it to me to enter to win a 25 dollars amazon gift card and um, as soon as I finish up with those freebie recipes, I'm going to be sending those to anyone who pre-ordered and gives me their email address. So if you did pre-order, let me know. Um, I really am excited about this. I want to know if you pre-ordered. Share with me because I'm just really excited to have this book out to you guys. I worked really hard on it. If you have my first book, um, this one is so amazing. And I love my first book too, but this one really just takes it up to another level. So if you love the first book, you're going to absolutely love this book. Um, again, if you have any questions, let me know. And when you pre-order, send me that screenshot of the receipt so that you can be entered to win the Amazon gift card. Have a wonderful weekend, you guys. Bye.